perfect. I'm just going to start here. I'm just going to control my, uh, I'm going to grab my partner's sleeves. Oh, and a, a, a note on the, the sleeve grip. So when we're holding the sleeves, we're not, we're not doing like a pistol grip. We're not just like squeezing the sleeves. It's a good habit to get into to hold the sleeves in a certain way. So I put my thumb inside the sleeve and I roll the sleeve over. And now when the, the sleeves rolled over, I've created this this kind of like cuff and I've got like a hook here. So I don't have to be squeezing really tight when I'm holding the sleeves, All right? So if I don't have this, I have to just like squeeze the material so I don't lose the grip. But if I put my thumb inside and roll the sleeve back, I've got this hook and I can, I can have a really strong sleeve grip and I, I don't uh, burn out my, my forearm muscles, right? So when you're getting the grips, try to put your thumb inside and roll the sleeve back. And now we've got a really strong grip here, all right? So now I've got the grips, I go feet to the hips. And now from here, I'm just gonna feed uh, the grip across and then I'm gonna hold the pant leg, all right? And then from this point, my right foot comes off of the hip and it hooks behind the knee. You can hook down low, but a lot of times when you push, if you're down low, they can step over your foot and release it. All right, so I just like to hook behind the knee. I feel like it works a little bit better. So I'm hooking behind the knee, I'm pulling the pant leg grip and the sleeve grip towards me and I'm just driving my foot into the hip. We control our partner all the way down. And now here it's important that we don't let go of the grips. If I just let go of the grips, my partner can just stand back up, right? So this is a, a common error early on in jiu-jitsu is like we, we start to get the sweep and we get in a hurry. And we're like, oh, we wanna come up and then we, we let go of everything and our partner is able to just come up and you know we've, we've just lost our opportunity. So here I'm holding I'm holding the sleeve and the pant leg still, all right? Now this foot that was hooking behind the, the knee, I post on the floor, and then now I'm doing this technical get up, but I'm, I'm on my elbow. It's the only difference, I'm on, my, I'm on my elbow, not on my hand. And I come up, and now I actually am coming to my knee here, and then I push his leg between my legs, and I come into the knee cut position, and we're just gonna stop right here, all right? Do it, yeah, let's rotate. So I'm just gonna grab my, my partner's sleeves, I roll them over so I get my little hooks, and then I just slide in, both feet to the hips, I'm pulling the sleeves towards me, and I'm gonna feed this grip across, and again, I'm, I'm kinda, I shouldn't say again, I didn't mention it, I'm, I'm lifting this sleeve as I bring it across because I don't want him to grab my belt, which if he grabs my belt, it's fine, um, I can still do this move, but if I can get his sleeve all the way across, it's gonna work better and it'll open up more options. All right, so now from here, I'm holding the pants. I'm not holding the heel, because if I hold the heel, sometimes he can turn his, his foot and kick his heel out, all right? So I like to hold the pants if we're, uh, we're in the gi. And then now I hook right behind the knee, pulling the pant leg and the sleeve towards me. And then I'm just extending my leg and I'm dumping my partner over. And uh, again, from here, we take our time coming up. We don't let go of the grips. I plant my foot on the floor, I come up. I'm coming up on my knee here, but I'm posting out on my, I'm opposite uh, foot, opposite elbow. I come up on my knee and now here I shove my partner's leg between my legs and then I come up to start to do the knee cut. All right, so. Yeah, I'm just pulling the arm across here to kind of expose uh, the collar. We're not too worried about it, but if I can just, find a way to get a hold of this collar. It always helps your, your passing opportunities. All right, so we can do this sweep without doing the cross grip. Like we can do it same side, but if I have the same side sleeve, it gives my partner a chance to clear this foot that's in the hip, All right? So he can start to clear that foot a little bit easier. So, you know, sometimes like if we are in daily heaven, we have this sleeve, we can like quickly switch to switch to the foot to the hip and do the, do the sweep. But just for this setup for now, um, when we're holding both sleeves, I wanna do cross grip, and then I'm holding the pant leg, hooking behind the knee, dumping my partner over here. I post the foot on the floor, come up to my elbow, come up to my knee, I push the leg between my legs, and we just finish here in the knee cut. All right, any questions on that?
We're good. So once you do pass that swing to the opposite side, how effectively can they clear that foot with the other hand? Um, are you talking about before the sweep? Yeah, right before you sweep. And even if you have that prospect, can they effectively clear the foot with the other hand? Um, it's going to be pretty tough. Like as he goes, I can I can sweep right away. Yeah, I mean he's he's pretty uh, kind of just I guess not off balance, but he's he's just pretty exposed. I guess yeah, he he doesn't have a lot of options. Like as he goes to clear it, like I I can just sweep right away. Yeah. Any other questions? All right, one, two, three.